All right, in this video, we are going to move on to creating a double V fold. So in the first video, we learned how to create a single V fold. And at this point, you should have that glued into your visual journal. So let's go over all the items you'll need for this. So you will need glue. You can also use a glue stick if you prefer. If you're using white glue, I do recommend having a paintbrush to spread it. Um, you're going to want a protractor. We're going to be measuring some angles. Again, if you don't have a protractor, that's okay. You can estimate them, but if you have one, I advise you to use it. You're going to need a ruler um, marked in inches. We will be doing uh, using inch measurements. And again, if you don't have a ruler, it's okay. You can estimate it, but again, if you have the ruler, I advise you to use it. You're also going to want a pencil, a pair of scissors, which I forgot to mention in the first video, um, a scrap paper, and then you're gonna need the small sheet of paper that you set aside after the first video. Okay, so yesterday, or I made the first video yesterday, but in the last video, you um, took a sheet of paper that was the same size as your visual journal and you cut it into two pieces. You're gonna be using that second piece today. Okay, so here's our first V fold. Okay, so we can see how that pops open and what that looks like. And today what we're gonna be doing, I already have one to show you, is we're gonna be working on creating what's called a double V fold. Okay, and this is called a double V fold, obviously because there's one at the top and the bottom, as opposed to just having one at the top. Okay, so we can see what this is gonna look like. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to take this sheet of paper here and you're gonna fold it in half. So what I like to do, as I said yesterday, is I like to start with the corners and match them up or make them kiss as some of you may have learned when you were younger. You're gonna press that down and then I go down to the second corner, match those up, press it down there and then I smooth it. We also talked about how you can use um, the handle of your scissors or your glue stick uh, to really crease that fold so it's nice and uh, crisp. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this so that for me, the folded edge is towards my left hand. So your left hand makes the letter L, um, and so that fold should be facing the L, the open end is facing your right hand. Okay, so I'm gonna use my ruler and this piece of paper measures four inches. Okay, so I've got four inches on my ruler and what I wanna do is I wanna mark two inches, so halfway. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that on my paper. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to measure one inch. So I'm going to line my ruler up with that dot, and I'm going to measure one inch. Okay, so I'm gonna remove my ruler, and I'm gonna set this up using my protractor. I'm gonna use a 45 degree angle again, so I'm taking my protractor, and I'm gonna line this line up with the bottom horizontal line on my protractor. And then what I want to have happen is I want this vertical line that's inside of this little circle to match right up with the end, okay? So now what I'm going to do on my protractor, and I may zoom in here for a second so you can see it a little bit clearer, is I'm going to find the 45 degree angle mark on my protractor. So, Again, this measures in tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So obviously halfway would be 45. Okay, so I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to line it up with this point here. So this is where we're gonna start our measurement from. And I am going to line it up with the 45 degree mark. And I'm just going to make a tiny mark on my paper. When I remove that, 
I'm going to use that mark to connect back to the end of this line on a diagonal and that should be a 45 degree angle. Now, if you don't have a protractor at home, you can kind of estimate what this looks like. Um, another way I guess you could do it if you don't have a protractor but you have a ruler, we are going up approximately one inch making the mark and then doing a diagonal from there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip my paper. Remember that if I go too fast, all you have to do is pause the video, go back and rewatch it. And once again, I'm going to measure a 45 degree angle using my protractor. So I'm lining the horizontal line up that I drew with the horizontal line on the protractor. And at the end of that line, I want my vertical line to be lined up in this little circle, okay? So you'll notice that the measurements are also marked on this side too. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting from this side and I'm using these measurements here, this bottom row of measurements as opposed to the top row. So you can actually use either side to measure 45 degrees. So again, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, here's 50. Obviously this is gonna be 55 because if we divide 10 and half, we get five. So I'm gonna line my ruler up with my 45 degree angle. And I'm just gonna make a mark. Okay, I'm gonna slide the protractor off and I'm going to connect that mark down to the end of the line I drew. So again, if you don't have a protractor, you can estimate it. If you have a ruler but no protractor, that mark is about one inch. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and I flipped this around, just because for me it's easier. Um, and I'm actually gonna turn it again so that this is facing towards my stomach. And that's just because for me it's gonna be easier to show the cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut very neatly and very slowly along that pencil line. Okay, so I have a cut right there. I'm not going any further than that. Okay, I'm gonna use my ruler to come in, line it up with your first diagonal line here, and fold it up. I'm gonna lift that off press it down, and then again, I can use the handle of my scissors to press that firmly in place. I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna fold the opposite direction, just like we did with a single V fold. Just be careful not to rip your paper. Okay, so I folded it both directions, and now I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So I'm going to hold my ruler up against my line. And I'm gonna fold that up. I'm gonna flip it back. And press it firmly in place on that side as well, okay? So we folded it both directions, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up and using my finger, so this is the back side, I'm putting my finger right on this triangle and I'm going to push it up and in. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So my finger is gonna be right on the back of this. I'm just gonna push that in like this, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna close that, and press that very firmly in place so that when I open it up now, I have a double V fold, okay? Kind of like a little beak. Pretty simple. All right, now what we need to do is we need to glue that into our visual journal. We've already folded or creased the paper to create the gutter or gully. 
And now what we need to do is just glue this in here. So I think we know how to do that at this point. Remember that when you're putting the glue on the back of this, so let's be clear about this. You wanna put the glue on the paper that you're gluing down, not onto this. So you lay this so that the back is facing up towards you. And when you apply the glue, you make sure that you are not getting any glue on the part of the pop-up, okay? So you need to work carefully to ensure that. If you're worried about your gluing skills, probably better to start with a glue stick. If you're feeling okay about them and you think you're pretty good at this, go ahead and work with a liquid glue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll glue it into place. Okay, so now we're gonna take our visual journal. We're gonna use the bottom section that we cut, so it should flip and open, and we're gonna go ahead and glue this in. So it should fit very nice and snug right in. You can line up the gutter and golly of both pieces, and then that should just help you get that in place, and then you can really just fold it shut and press it down. Okay, so let's go ahead and label this. So this is a double V fold. We used a one inch cut. Remember IN is the abbreviation for inch. So one inch cut. We did two, so a 45 degree angle, two 45 degree angles. So that was on top and bottom. Okay, so now you have two simple pop-up techniques that hopefully you have completed successfully in your journal. If you haven't successfully completed it, go back and try it again, okay? It's pretty straightforward, nice simple V-folds, kind of fun to see how they uh, work. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on in the next video. We're gonna be looking at um, making more V folds, but seeing how changing the angle of the V fold changes the effect or what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna see you in the next video.